Okay, I just want to uh, run through a few more ways uh, to explore this data. Um, just as an extra, I, I kept diving in because because I'm curious what's going on here. Um, so one thing I saw is that there's something going on on this Friday uh, where the mean is, is super high. Um, so I wanted to get in this more. So first I created a base chart. And I've seen before, you can use uh, the pipe operator to uh, do a horizontal concatenation of charts. Um, and here I overwrote the, the color encoding on each of these base charts and did a horizontal concatenation. Um, so you can see I've got the count, the sum, and the mean across each of them, um, and the scale uh, got combined, um, which sometimes makes sense, um, and that's the default. Um, but here it looks like the, the sum overwhelmed all of the others. Um, so what we need to do is have the scales resolve independently. Um, so to do that, we have to call alter alt.concat. Um, or we could do dot resolve scale color independent. We could wrap the things. I added one more here um, and uh, to look at the median. Um, and here right now we got separate scales. Um, so we can see what's going on. Uh, the count looks pretty reasonable. Uh, you know, Thursday at four, there's some stuff going on Thursday morning. Um, and uh, count looks reasonable. Still something pretty big on the sum. Uh, the mean has got something going on on Monday morning, and uh, and now the uh, the median has something going on Monday morning. So I want to keep diving into this. Uh, so uh, something happened Friday night and Monday morning. Um, so I just want to show all the activities. Um, so here I'm actually looking at all the activities. I'm going to scroll up really quick. On um, the top, I added the uh, data transformer to disable the max rows. Neither the JSON nor the data server are going to work on collab. Um, so you can just disable the macros, max rows here. I think that there's only 5,000, so it's barely over the limit. Um, things are working okay. And I put all the data transformations in the same, kind of in the same thing, so you know, you know, we load it and transform it at the same time. Um, there's, a, there's a link here um, for each of these different data transformers on the back end. Um, and if we keep going... Um, so I wanted to see each one uh, to see what's going on. So I went ahead and... I made some different encoding. So I, I split it out on, on the, the day across columns. Uh, so there'd be enough room and I uh, did a scatter plot on each. So X and Y, Y is the hours, X is the elapsed time, because I wanted to see the individual elapsed time values. And then I just added a tooltip for the activity name. Um, so I could find uh, the activities that are, that are driving up that skew. So if I go look at uh, what's going on on Monday morning, I can go find uh, that I, uh, went on a really long bike ride on Monday morning, and it looks like that hour, there's not a lot of activities going on. Um, so a long hike and uh, and a single uh, really long bike ride are what drove it. And if I wanted to find out what happened on that Friday night, I found one activity that, uh, that drove everything off. So it's Strava crashed on Friday and stayed on in the background for 160,000 minutes. Um, so for uh, like three days. Um, and that's what's really driving it up. There's also a long activity here um, that looks like it didn't get cropped. And this is actual bike ride. Um, so yeah, by diving in and adding some details, able to actually uncover what was going on here. Um, and then I could go and filter that really long one just by filtering. Um, I did it on the Panda side. And of course you could do it on the uh, Altair side by adding a uh, transform filter. Um, you do it transform filter and datum dot elapsed time less than 10,000, right? Um, that have the same effect. Um, and here, right, um, you can see it actually gets rid of that, that big Friday night um, sum. So things look, things look a little more normal here. There was only a couple on Monday morning, so that was just a small data problem. Um, and you know, in general, Sunday and Saturday, right, is when I get out to ride and run the most. Um, so, um, so this makes some sense. <laughs> um, Cool. Um, and then I wanted to keep looking in, so I made this chart again um, with the filter on um, and added some more tool tips. And one thing I want, I wanted to go and find these uh, activities. So I added a transform calculate here where I computed the URL. So the activity ID in Strava.activities is, is where um, these activities actually live online. And then I added that as a link. Um, so in general, if you try to click the link, um, it's going to try to do it inside that, that pane. Um, and so Strava has the cores control on, so it's not going to allow you to embed it. So if I rerun this, um, right, we're going to get our chart back. 
And you can you can use these links by if you hold on a Mac, if you hold Command, um, it'll open up the in a new tab. And if you hold Shift, it'll open up in a, in a new window. Um, and so you can see an activity activity here. Of course, it, it blew up the the chart because it was a 12-hour bike ride. Um, so there we go. Um, and so you can dive in and see what each of these uh, crazy activities were. There's some way out here. Um, this was just a really long fast 10k if it happened, um, and you can go and see what some of the big stuff is going on here. Um, and yeah, I went and made a few more charts just to keep diving in. So look at all the activities um, right here, just using a mark circle. Again, you can click on them. I want to put them all back on one chart. Um, and then I wanted to actually give them the minutes on the day. I kind of find a way to do this in um, in Altair. Um, so this is what's really nice about working with the data um, in Pandas is we can go and do transformations that, that are easy to do in Pandas. Like here, I took the hour multiplied by 60 and added it to the minute. Um, so this gives us the minute through the day, zeros at midnight. And, you know, uh, would be 6,000 would be 10 hours into the day. Um, sorry, 600 would be at 10 a.m. Um, for, for this column. And uh, then I can use that column. So I use that column on, on Y. Um, and I use the activity type for color. Um, so I got a scale I can dive into here. Uh, a lot of things are on the same, they're all kind of overlapping each other. Um, but again, you can see the, the, the longest activities out here um, that happen. They're mostly bike rides and this one uncropped run. Uh, so I should probably filter that one out too. Um, and I think I did one more where, you know, I was trying to see these, there's a lot of occlusion um, from the circle, so I added a log scale. So if you want to do a log scale, um, you can do it like this. I actually used a sim log scale. Um, so if you look at Altair's uh, scales, you can see there are um, there's a log, right? A straight log and a sim log will work better for uh, zero value data. So there must have been some zeros in the data because when I tried it with a log, it wasn't working. Um, so I you know could add a filter on it being greater than zero, and this should work for a straight log. Let's see what we get. Yeah. So that's working. Um, I actually like that better than the sim log. <laughs> and uh, I also added the interactive, so you can uh, zoom in and out on the uh, on the scale here. Um, and I did it with bind y false, so it only it only scrolls on the x. Um, it's without the big one filtered out. Of course, you could add the filter in both directions. Um, and zoom in and see the see the spread. So lapse time. I think this one is in. Lap time might be in seconds. I'd have to dig in. Um, yeah, uh, the points are really small over here. We can see kind of a dusting of, of really short activities. Um, cool. Okay. Um, those are just some, some other ways to, to dive in and, and see. And again, these, you know, you can open up any activity that you uh, that you want to dive into. Um, definitely some, some fun stuff here. Um, some long hikes. This is maybe the longest hike I've ever been on. Uh, so, so lots of fun stuff to explore. Explore your data. Um, it's a good one. All right. Take it easy. Cheers.